So I was listening to Caleb Hammer. He is a famous finance YouTuber. I think he's outside here, Austin. And he does these financial audits, right? And I, and I got sent this from a subscriber. And I couldn't believe what I heard. So this couple who are, is financially in a shit ton of difficulty, they're massively in debt, got into debt due in part, and in fact, they actually blame MetaZoo quite a bit. She actually says, I effing hate MetaZoo as I have these subtitles maxed out for you. They put a shit ton of money investing in MetaZoo and MetaZoo is now worthless today. So I always wondered like, if MetaZoo was so big, it's in every Walmart, every Target, there's got to be people who paid a shit ton. I mean, you look at how much Alpha Investment has sold. And when he has turn on, what's it called? Turn on the engine or something. And he just, for days on days, he's like making pyramids of, what was that? Uh, Nightfall First Edition boxes. He, he literally made a pyramid. The video has now been deleted, but the video was titled, MetaZoo is a Pyramid. And, oh, turn on the assembly line. And a lot of these individuals got caught holding the bag. Now, Alpha Investments, of course, he's not going to appear on Caleb Hammer. He's probably making, he's probably made millions upon millions from MetaZoo. But if you want to see how it affects everyday individuals, um, it's, it's very fascinating. Essentially, they bought into it early. They made a little bit of money. Then they put $5,000 into a Kickstarter to get original artwork, which wasn't delivered any time when they expected it and now it's worthless, right? I think you had a auction on whatnot for the original artwork for pennies on a dollar, right? Pennies on a dollar, but initially they were selling for $5,000 a piece. Now that particular piece probably worth maybe a dollar fifty, maybe $2.50, right? So I am um, absolutely appalled and kind of that they put that type of money. Now, I, I believe they have at least one daughter, if not more kids. They call it an investment. And that's kind of what I want you to understand. They call it an investment, investment, investment. Every time they talk about MetaZoo, it is as a investment. And they were actually quite competitive about who would buy what in MetaZoo. And this is the reason you know they don't have any money left because their investments, instead of investing in their 401k, they took money out of their 401k and, you know, money is fungible, but they, it seems like they put all their money in MetaZoo. And this is why they're utterly broke. Um, this is bizarre, right? It's bizarre to hear this because you're just randomly watching a video and this couple is explaining why they're so poor. And then the main reason they blame is MetaZoo. <laughs> for the collapse of their family. And again, financially, it's just a uh, terrible, terrible situation to be in. Um, I would imagine that this actually happens to most people. They went, they, and, and yet every time they mention MetaZoo, it's followed by investment, right? Investment, investment. It's, it's the most bizarre thing. I'm pretty sure they bought from Alpha Investment because the type of money that they were spending Oh yeah, so we actually had ten thousand dollars, and the type of money they were spending on MetaZoo. There's only one dude I know of who has that type of inventory, and it's Alpha Investments, right? So they don't mention Alpha Investments specifically by name, but me, and my subscriber, believe it has to be him because how else are they spending tens of thousands? Like who else has this much Nightfall First Edition for you to buy? Um, I'm just gonna read you our conversation. It's pretty. Hilarious. Let's see. Can you think of anyone who made a lot of money doing Rudy's plan? I can't even, not even one. Okay, so it will begin here. He sent me the YouTube link. One, so so if you want to watch it, it's uh, Caleb Hammer. Obviously, he has green lipstick. It uh, starts at one hour and six minutes. You have to listen. This couple is a mess and spent thousands on MetaZoo putting faces in actual people to who suffered 
with Rudy doing what he did to push that bullshit. Couple is on the verge of divorce and a bunch of substance abuse issues and other stuff. And they were suckered into MetaZoo. At around the 1 hour 9 minute mark, she blames MetaZoo and the Kickstarter and stuff. When you pay for something, you expect to actually get it, right? R-O-F-L Said their $10,000 Kickstarter box may be worth 1k now. That's probably too high, to be honest. Rudy doesn't care at all about what happens to people like them. If they sign up for Yota, Graham wouldn't care either. Man, I wish they mentioned Alpha Investment by name just for that exposure as a fraud on Caleb's channel and large audience. Yeah, Alpha Investment dodged a mother effing bullet. For whatever reason, these two clearly were investors. That's why they kept talking about investments, but they never mentioned Alpha Investment, so good on him. Laugh out loud. Ever notice how we hear stories like that of people ending up worse off doing what Rudy recommends? But we rarely, if ever, hear anyone saying doing what Rudy recommended made them better off. Yeah, this this couple, they took their 401k out to buy MetaZoo, guys. Like, this is a disaster, guys. Like, S&P 500, holy moly. Can you think of anyone who made a lot of money do doing Rudy's plan? I can't even, not even. Oh, nice. So, uh, he's, he has a new apartment. He's going to put money down to buy his new place let me give him a thumbs up for my subscriber uh, he's working at a new you know i probably should mention it there yeah yeah hilarious video making video now for tomorrow but yeah this is the exact people who would buy metazoo and and treat it as an invest this is who rudy like i always wondered like who the hell is rudy selling to like who the hell is going to pay eighty two hundred dollars for a metazoo kit and the answer turned out to be these people. Am I surprised? Am I sad? Am I upset? No. This is uh, just uh, the type of people. They're, they're broke people who believe MetaZoo is a way out. They believe that they're investing in Pokemon first edition base set. And they get even more broke. And this is kind of the sad, sad reality of MetaZoo. Um, I mean, I, couldn't, I honestly can't think of a sadder thing, to be honest. People who are dead broke, getting even more broke because they invested in something that pe other people told them would go up in price. These are not rich, wealthy people. These are not people who have a ton of money. These are not, I mean, again, these are not incredibly wealthy individuals. These are people who already are broke and now they get even more broke, right? Anyway, bye guys.